top lane once again. Penny Money initiated by the spin return damage, taking so much himself. Impeller from Torture. The wall off though happens to now. Torture in trouble himself. Wants to get the kill. No, he's not going to. Jin reactions come out. They miss. Down goes Torture. Down goes Alonio though. And now Empath in trouble as guess what? Revenant is here and he's doing plenty of damage. The SS slate to drain on Blitz right there. Blitz now gets stunned himself. But now Madman joins the party. It's a double tap for Super KG. But he's in the bathroom. Penny Money is done. Hits Bubbles. But Bubbles is alive. Not for long. The mortification on the Madman, but he is still chasing. Come on, Otax gets another kill. It's a crazy team fight up here. It's going to be a one versus one. Make it a two versus Master. one as Drunken Master comes in. Revenant with the invis. Unless they have vision, he should be fine as he is. Drunk I don't think they should defend this. I don't think they should defend this at all. Because I, mean, I don't have shotgun heads on Drunken Master or Penna. All this is so bad. Wow, Empath ran right into that trap right there of the Empath, uh, of the Invis for Revenant. Pandemonium, he opens right there. He gets done though. So Slash is coming out. He's finally able to cannibal away. The kill for the log him in place. He's barely still alive. Finally goes down as long as he comes out. Here comes Drunken Master though. Swift Blade. He pushed up a little bit too far. The auto attack should be enough for the kill. And it is Revenant, however, standing his ground, trying to do enough himself. In the background, Alonia is also slowing down the Legion team, allowing Madman to kind of chase them down. Torture falls. Double tap for Mammon. He wants more. Revenant, though, takes it. Alonia. Drunken Master back in. Blitz goes down. It's going to be a hat trick for Mammon. But the mortification. Revenant's doing no, no, so no. much damage and annihilation in response for Revenant. The tower goes down. What? <laughs> the power of Revenant showing right there firsthand. They cannot risk losing their base tower here uh, at this time. And again, they're fairly confident in fighting out. But actually, BMG says, you know what? We got you to four back. We're fine with that. Kind of. Oh, uh, fake fall back. Oh, boy. Pandemonium. You are maybe in trouble. I'm not sure. They're waiting for somebody to kind of expose himself, but they can't really see them. They're going to go over here. And this will last a little bit longer. They may find a couple targets. They're going to jump on the Trigger Master really quickly. Will this pay off? The quick kill to Trigger. Holy crap. Again, just so quickly. Just falls right there, and then they will just run away. <laughs> but Revenant, he's going in. He's looking for an opening. They're just simply scouting out. Maybe it's going to be Alonia. There we go. Mortification. Now, follow. look at three hit, basically. The fourth one. The dot damage probably wouldn't have mattered anyways. They, and now the initiation, though, on Revenant. You see the physical damage. Shrugging at his up on Pandemonium. It's allowed to do plenty. But Mammon, as soon as he tries to go in, he just has to immediately back up because there's just no chance for him. I think BMG has done it. And who would have thought Revenant played by Super KG would be a go-to carry? Here in game three to secure the job. Of course, you look back at the game three, and it's, it's all about that annihilation on Super KGE. Oh, yeah, Super KGE had intensely, intensely good. 16 2 and 8, he was involved in the most amount of hero kills in the game. He had only two deaths that were one of the lowest on his team, other than Zip there. 600 GPM on a hero that's barely ever, ever seen on the competitive scene. Super KGE was clearly the man of the match uh, in this game.